Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I've got a upper body kettlebell workout for you guys. Um, I've planned it so, for those of you that have kettlebells, I've planned it so you only use one single kettlebell. Ideally, if you have two of the same, even better, then you'll see you can use all the exercises we're using kettlebell for, which is every exercise. Um, you can, for most of them, also use two of the same weight at the same time. But just for the sake of the video, just because I'm sure not everyone has a pair of identical kettlebells, we're just going to use one and work most of the sides or all our sides, but mostly unilaterally. So we just use the one kettlebell. Yeah, cool. Uh, so let's start off with our warm up. Don't need the kettlebell just yet. So put this one side. Now for a warm up, let me just adjust the camera. Cool. Quick warm up. Don't need to do too much. Two exercises, shoulder taps and scat push-up, which will do 12 reps each. So off we go, onto our feet, into push-up position, keeping our core nice and tight, hips down. Let me adjust that slightly. So try and keep your hips as still as possible, so shoulders over your hands. Off we go, so rather than doing that, obviously I'm exaggerating slightly now, but rather than doing that, I'm just gonna try and keep our hips as still as we can, like so, so all the way, going to our shoulders, like so, yeah. Do 12 reps. Make sure not to breathe, guys. One, eight, seven, 11, and 12. Good stuff. Next one, scapula push-up. So basically just some scapula push-ups, just getting some movement, some mobility through the scapula or shoulder blades. So just on our knees and our hands. Similar position to, uh, to uh, shoulder taps, we're just bringing our knees down and we're just going to keep our arms locked, just let our chest drop down, pull our shoulders back, like so. Yeah, so very small movement, especially if you don't have great mobility through the shoulders, the movement might be even smaller. But just because it's a small movement doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah, so even if it's just a tiny little movement, it's absolutely fine. Just want to get those shoulder blades moving a little bit, get them nice and low, well, like so. Yeah. 12 reps, good stuff, well done guys. Good, two more. And that's the one, there we go. So that's our warm up. Guys, feel free to do two to three rounds. I recommend doing at least two rounds just to get those shoulders really moving, get them nice and warm, just to prevent any potential injuries, yeah? Good stuff. So, on to the workout. Let's adjust the camera. Cool, so we've got two triceps. One's more of a push, more of a uh, more of a chest and shoulders. The other one's more of the back back and rear delts, that sort of thing. So we'll start off with our push triceps. So triceps just means three exercises back to back and then set the end. Yeah, so we're doing two triceps, three rounds of each one. Um, yeah, so our first one is gonna be a kettlebell, kettlebell overhead press. So it's one handed overhead press, like so, the A to the side. Next one is gonna be halos. I'll go for them now, I'll just tell you the names. So kettlebell overhead press, halos, and a jaw press. Yeah, so for the first one, overhead press, Stay in a nice standard upright position, nice tight core. Feel free to have this arm out like so, just to act as a bit of a counterbalance. And then just gonna push up, very simple, just slowly back down. If your kettlebell is a bit too heavy, what you can do is turn it into a push press, use our knees for momentum, push up like a spring, and slowly come back down like so. Yeah, so up, slowly. Same on the other side, yeah, and up. Even if it's on the heavier side, it should still be more than manageable. Yeah, good stuff. Our next one's gonna be halos, so another shoulder focus exercise. We're gonna hold our kettlebell like so, similar to a goblet squat. So hold like so, holding the handles like so. What we're gonna do is just gonna bring our arm around our head, like so back up to this position, so as tight as you can around your head, get those shoulders involved, and back. Yeah, so try and keep alternating which way around you go, so right, 
left, yeah, right, and so on, yeah, good stuff. And our last exercise, let's get into a different camera position. There we go, is that still rolling? Yeah, cool. Final one, it's gonna be, hang on, let me set this mat up so you can see me a bit better. Done like so. Final exercise, a bit more chest focus. It's gonna be a floor press. So I'm gonna come down. Uh, let me show you the side, that's a bit easier. So for just the sake of counterbalance purposes, we're gonna have this arm gonna lie out flat, 90 degrees from my torso, yeah? Um, knees, legs, do what you want with them. Some people prefer to keep the knees flat down. I prefer to keep my feet upright like so. In this position, we're just gonna angle this elbow out about 45 degrees, pull our shoulders back. Let's do one side at a time, come up, and as you come up, bring that kettlebell as close to the middle of your chest as you can, so we get a nice big contraction, yeah, so we're pulling, pulling our chest up together, yeah, get a nice big contraction, so here we go, just like so, now, make sure you can't really see the other side, let me see if I can flip around, there we go, same thing on the other side, up, Bring my bringing the weight over towards my middle chest. So we get a full range of motion, full contraction. Like so, yeah. Good stuff. So those are three exercises of the first tricep. Let me just reset the camera. Good stuff. So reps wise, eight to side for the overhead press. 12 uh, halos and eight to side for the floor press. Obviously, if the weight's a bit too light or a bit too heavy, feel free to adjust those reps slightly. Maybe add or subtract two reps, two or three reps, just to make it a bit more either easier or more difficult, depending on the weight of the kettlebell. So I'll probably grab a sip of water and then we'll get right in. All right, so first of all, first exercise, overhead press. Here we go, grab my kettlebell. So yeah, you can either do strict presses or turn it into push press. Either one entirely up to you and depending on the weight of your kettlebell, yeah? So off we go. Take a deep breath and breathe out. One, slow down, nice control. Two, this will help to prevent injury. The slower down we go, yeah? Four, five, six, keep my torso nice and upright. Seven, no need to lean to one side, yeah. Eight, good, and switch over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Amazing, good stuff. Next one up, halos. Grab your kettlebell like so. Just like a goblet, 12 reps, off we go. I'm gonna turn around to the right, nice and tight, try not to hit your head like I just did. And uh, back around to the left, yeah? Right, left, that's what I would say, so that's four, five. Just keeping that, that kettlebell close to your head at all times. Yeah. And trust me, if you don't feel that after the first couple, you will start to feel it about halfway through, I guarantee it. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh, actually, that might be twelve. I'll do one more for good luck. There we go. Good stuff. Final one, guys. Let me just adjust the camera. There we go. Cool. Into the floor press. Eight to side. Get into position. Pull your shoulders back. Angle this elbow about forty-five degrees. And off we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Other side, I'm just flip round. A little bit muffled in, just about. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Amazing. Hold on, guys. There we have it. 
There we go. Tricep one of two done. So ideally we want to go for two, uh, two, three to four rounds of that one. Um, I'd set three as an absolute minimum. Add some water. Stuff. And then for our second tricep, this is going to be a more pull focused one. First exercise is going to be a bent over row. Sorry, before I forget. So you can see on most of the exercises, for example, the overhead press or the floor press, if you have two of the same weights, feel free to do both at the same time and then maybe up the total reps to 12 or 15. So rather than doing eight side, we're doing 12 or 15 in total. Okay. Um, you'll see for, yeah, so our next exercise is going to be a kettlebell row. Same thing applies. If you've got one, absolutely fine. Then we'll just take a step forward, lean onto our legs like so, or if you have a platform, lean onto the platform like so. But again, if you have two of the same weight, then just use both at the same time like so. Yeah, either one works. Absolutely no issue there. Cool, so as I said, our first exercise on the next tricep is gonna be a kettlebell row. So this is depending whether you have a surface that's between like knee and hip width, hip height, then you can feel feel free to lean onto that. If not, then what we'll do, whatever hand you're holding the kettlebell in, we'll step forward with the opposing leg, lean forward onto the leg like so, keeping our backs nice and straight, and we can pull up, pull our elbow up, get a nice big squeeze at the top, really pull your shoulder back, and then slowly back down like so, yeah? Like so. Same thing on the other side, opposing legs, leg comes forward, Top, uh, big squeeze at the top, like so. Yeah, cool stuff. For our next exercise is going to be an upright row. So, for this exercise, either way, you only need one kettlebell. We're going to hold it in front of us, like so. We'll stand nice and tall, nice and straight, and we're going to pull our elbows up, like so. See how I'm not pulling my wrists up, I'm letting my elbows do all the work. My shoulder is attached to the humerus moving that humerus is what contracts the shoulder like so yeah that doesn't do anything yeah so just focus pulling our elbows up like so slowly back down yeah really feel that down the side down if you want you can even lean forward slightly do the same thing and we'll get a little bit of rear delt in there we've got a little bit of involve as well yeah upright, nice big squeeze at the top, slowly back down, yeah, good. And our final exercise, standard kettlebell swing, so nice wide feet, try and keep your knees as straight as you can, I'm just going to hinge through, push up, like so, yeah, standard, good. There we have it, those are three exercise, exercises, the first one, bent over row, eight reps a side, second one, upright row, 12 reps in total, and for our swing, we'll go for 15 reps. Yeah, cool. All right, let's get straight into it. So, bent over row, off we go. Holding on my left hand to start with. So, right leg comes forward. So, lean forward onto our right leg, and off we go. Let the let your shoulder blade, let your shoulder drop forward all the way down. Now, just pull up, pull it all the way back. Get that full range of motion. One, two. Four, five, six, slowly down, big squeeze at the top, seven, and eight. Good stuff. And we're going to switch, switch lock, switch legs, switch arms. Off we go. One, two, three, four. Up. It's going to be the upright row, straight in. Take a deep breath if you need. Obviously, back to back as quick as you can. Upright row, 12 reps. Here we go. Pulling from our elbows. One, two, three. Slowly down, nice controlled. Four, five, six, seven. Nine, 
10, 11, and 12. Let's start from this position, straight into a swing, 50 reps, off we go. One, two, three, and we'll try and get your hips to the wall to work. We're not trying to front raise this kettlebell, we're trying to push through our hips. Okay. Lost count now, I think that was seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 17, 14, and 15. There we go. And that's that guys, well done. Just to summarize, two triceps, three rounds each. Obviously, during the tricep, try to do all three exercises back to back. After each one, rest for as long as you feel like you need to. Obviously, if you're going more for strength, rest for a little bit longer. If you're going more for endurance, maybe you've just got lighter weights, rest a little bit less, yeah? Well done, guys. Hope you enjoyed this workout, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.